expect a good one. Final game of a five-game homestand for the Oilers. One, two, and one so far. And here we go, officially underway between the Edmonton Oilers and the St. Louis Blues on Scotiabank Wednesday night. Chance here in tight. The pass across as Kairou catches up to it, sends it to the blue line. Kairou, this is Krug over to Thomas, looking, shooting, scoring! And here in the early stages is the first goal of the game, the 20th of the season for Robert Thomas. It's one to nothing for the St. Louis Blues. He's an excellent passer, but boy, he can shoot the puck too. This was a problem when you look two weeks ago. The St. Louis Blues had eight power plays in that game, and they scored two power play goals early on here. Good presence in front by neighbors, but Thomas just walks in, uses the screen, fires that far side under the bar, up over top of the blocker as Stuart Skinner gets it through. The Oilers come up fortunate there as Marco Scandella has moved up. Looking for Kevin Hayes. Bull Duke now grabs a hold of the puck, takes a look. Scandella wants it, gets it, fires, and Skinner makes the save, and he decides to cover up. Thomas fresh on the ice. He picks up that puck, but Brown just out. Works him for that puck, gets underneath, good positioning, gets it out of the way. Puck stolen, Dreisaitl sends it up towards Biddington. McDavid falling to the ice. Here's Thomas all over the ice, finds Pareko, decides to skate his way in the Oilers zone, passing off to Kairou, an open Thomas, who misfires on that opportunity. Another shot from Buchnevich, and he finds the net. And just like that, it's two to nothing for the Blues early in the first. But a good chance. Here's the fake slapper, almost attempted wrister by Thomas. It rolls off of his stick. But then the recovery by Kairou. He finds Bushnevich in the slot. And he releases this one quickly, too. Upstairs, two nothing. St. Louis Blues. And these are the slot chances this team creates. They are handing it off. The big Kevin Hayes, pressured by Derek Ryan. And Ryan. Won that battle, but Hayes got the puck back. Lenny winds up, fires, and that is Skinner making the glove save. Stayed out as here comes Ryan Nugent Hopkins, a pass in front, and Janmark was driving to the net. Now Evander Kane, a wrister, blockered away by Biddington. Trying to power his way to the net, Hyman. Team high, 38 goals for the Oilers. McDavid back to Dan tipped, and Biddington is there to make the save off the stick of McDavid. Connor Brown is there now. Holloway trying to spin away from Tucker. Kevin Hayes moves it. Ryan to the point. Bouchard with the boosh bomb and flashing the leather is Biddington. Pass missed by Falk, sent in by the Oilers under seven minutes to go here. Two goal lead for the Blues. Dehernay winds up, fires, tipped on it by McLeod, but Bennington with a terrific save. He was looking, but big Stewart Skinner gets a shoulder on that one. The redirection by McLeod and the shot pass by DeHarnay all off a good forecheck once again. And that's a pretty good save for Bennington. Now, an opportunity for DeHarnay to settle things down here. As the Blues top forward trio was out there, McLeod moving it, cool in. Bennington out to challenge, makes the same rebound. Blocked, and Bennington answers that as well. My, oh my. Here's Bennington. Who's up to the task so far tonight? Here's Leon Dreisaitl navigating his way in, still with it. He finds McDavid, what a move! Bidding to the right arm stop, denying the Oilers captain. Dreisaitl with the entry into the zone, he just kind of threads it through everyone. Fake walk around, good shot by McDavid on the blocker side. Bennington up to that one as he makes a good save there. Just waits him out, way over the tip of the blue paint. Chance now for the Oilers to get on the board. Evan Bouchard to Nugent Hopkins. McDavid, a pass in front. Hyman's there, and he scores! That's goals in six straight games as the Zach Hyman highlight reel continues. I know that Jennifer did a thing, the panel talking about 24 of his 38 coming in, now 25 of 39 are from within 10 feet around the net. This guy makes a living being right there in that spot, but being strong on his stick. And that's the most important thing. He flares out, gives himself a little bit more space to kind of work with. The first one doesn't go, but he shovels home. The second one on the backhand right there as it kind of ricochets off the forehand. 
And Gene, now Zach Hyman with 39 on the season, tied for second in the NHL in goals with Sam Reinhardt as Oilers coming close here right off the bat in the second period, which is underway. A wraparound attempt by Evander Kane. Pavel Buchnevich finds Pareko. He accelerates, gains the red line. Puck knocked down neatly by Ekholm, sending the Oilers back in. Here's Hyman! That blast wide of the net. Nick Letty moving it, and now Torpchenko finds Pareko lifted out. Up down by Bouchard, who had to be careful. Stretch pass, the Oilers are in. McDavid to Hyman, he scores! 40th of the season! He's the Hymenator! And this game is tied at two! And the nurse pass is a little hot for King to handle this time again. It's a delayed offside, wicked pass by Bouchard to find Hyman. Little tap to McDavid, gets it back elevation. Up over top of the pack. Bennington was there. Those quick reflexes, watch him get across right there. But Hyman elevates it too quickly to get up over top of that pad, finds a way to put it through there. For Falk taking over from behind the Blues net. Jake Neighbors handing it off. Kevin Hayes now, nice wheels. He's got Shen with him. Hayes to the net, and it's Stuart Skinner standing his ground. You kind of knew that puck was coming back, and he elevates it. St. Louis Blues go back on the power play. Right, third period action underway, and we're set up for what should be a entertaining finish to this one. Battling for some space, and he forces the Oilers out of the zone, but Bouchard has other plans, he gets right back. Kula, off the iron! And back the other way, Shen and Paul Duke, they've got room! Paul Duke, denied! Heels off, gets it to the point, Bouchard to McDavid. Puck corral, Bouchard to McDavid in the slot, drives on a one-timer! Rejection from Binnington. <laughs> Third period goals on Monday night against the LA Kings. Here is Zach Hyman. Maneuvering. McDavid takes it from him. Nifty move to the middle. A shot from Dreisaitl. And eventually found by Finnington. This has been their best period by far. They have dominated teams in the third period this season, especially the last two and a half months. This one gets stopped en route to the net off the stick of Dreisaitl, and then Hyman has a, a slash at it. Goes off the shin pad, a big Colton Pareko, who just being in that position makes a save. I don't think he really knows it as he spins one way. Hyman's there. Oh, hey, oh. Fantastic game of hockey here tonight. Hey, Herne to Kulak. Kulak. Back to Dehernay. On target. Bennington was there. Another shot. The clouds. It was blocked. Dying seconds. McDavid moves in. McDavid a pass across towards Hyman. And that's going to do it here. We are headed to three on three overtime between the Blues and the Oilers. So just a heads up play by the captain. Threaded that puck through is a little bit far, but some talented players on the ice here to start overtime. Takes it now and Dreisaitl has McDavid going to the bench. Dreisaitl locks it in the zone himself. Dreisaitl to the net! Backhander and Bennington stands his ground. An idol in his own end. Is in. Shooting Skinner making the same rebound available. Saw a shot and another stop from Skinner. Nugent Hopkins takes control. McDavid has it. The Oilers on the counterattack. Who's going to be the hero? McDavid shooting. Bennington the save. He got just enough. Echo using the security of his own net. Now he starts it off. McDavid back to Echo. Echo to McDavid. As he pilots through, McDavid. Keep it shooting! Scoring! Connor McDavid! In the final three periods of this game, including overtime, here it is here. Give me that puck. I want it. And away he goes. And just a great navigation to the neutral zone. And then that quick release fools Jordan Bennington. Gets a chunk of it. But it finds its way in the net, and it's the quick release by McDavid that I think does it. 
right here. Little fake, and then boom. Up over top, gets the shoulder, and finds its way in the net. Edmondson pulled this one out.